What's up guys, Jamar Dawson here from Remnet Outdoors and we are adding our second most recent addition to our Mossberg 500 series shotgun and that is this Magpul SGA stock. I'm really excited about it. It took a while for me to find it because like every time I went to go buy it, it was out of stock, no pun intended, but we are going to trick this thing out. Um, the biggest advantage is you can customize your length of pull. The problem with some shotguns, when they just come stock from the factory, the length of pull is too long. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So like, as I grab this and I shoulder the weapon here, I have to reach way out here. I have to kind of get back into the frame. Way out here to grab, especially if on this, this streamlight device here, to get to that little, little valley divot here. to kind of help me wrap this a lot. I have to reach way out there. And as you can see, my hand is, is almost at its max extension. And if somebody is short statured with a smaller wingspan and doesn't have very long arms, that could be a problem just because of how long this segment of the shotgun is here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off, we're gonna add the SGA stock, and we're gonna kinda customize it with the spacers it comes with. And um, this is gonna be a, a heck of a defense shotgun. So let's go ahead and put this together, let's unbox it, and um, get it on the gun. All right guys, to do this, we're gonna need our Phillips head as well as a flathead bit. Let's go ahead and start with the Phillips head. Obviously, you wanna to check to make sure your gun is empty. You're gonna find these holes in the back. All right, that one's out there. Let me go to this bottom one here. side right there all right so it's hard to see because of the camera and the lights but if you look down in there there's a flathead section so we're gonna go ahead and swip this out I hope this is long enough it may not be you're gonna definitely need I don't know about like seven eight inch an eight inch portion where the extension piece goes before you hit something like this the little hilt thing uh, that is going to be beneficial because like this is is not like super close and anything standard like this um, is not gonna reach it. So once you have something old school, you're gonna have to try to put an extension on what you got if you have one. So that's like a critical thing to know. Otherwise, you're not gonna be putting your new stock on and they don't come with any tools of any nature. All right, got a stock off. Okay, so this is the Magpul SGA stock. Let's go ahead and unbox it now. Comes in a nether box. Okay, so what you get is the actual stock here. How do I get this out of here? Uh, the actual stock here, it looks good. Looks nice, you got the, I guess, ambidextrous sling loops. Man, this butt pad is a lot, uh, more rubbery and softer than I expected it to be. If you just look at the photos, it just feels like it's rigid from the appearance. Uh, but yeah, this is good. You got some really good grip here, good texturing. Uh, this is high quality. Magpul typically has really high quality stuff. You get one, two, three, four spacers, and I think these are half an inch a piece. So this is, you're gonna put the spacers basically here, and you can customize the length of pull that way. And then, instructions, okay, make sure the gun is unloaded. And then you got your one, two, three pieces with the Allen wrench. So let's go ahead and put this together. Okay, so uh, once the traditional, original stock is off, you can see there's some threads there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this piece. It doesn't matter which way, up or down. It, that doesn't really matter. So you wanna take this side here, Looks like it has the concentric circles. This flat side, basically flat side, this is gonna be facing you. So you're gonna put this right here. Uh, right there like that. So it just slips on, you just kinda of press it on right there. Right kinda of in the middle uh, where those threads go. I'm gonna take this stock and basically due to the geometry, uh, you're going to take your stock and you're going to just mate these two pieces together like so. Boom. I hope that's easy to see on the video. 
And then after that's like that, obviously. So now you need to connect them together. Um, there is a bolt that they give you. So let's go ahead and take that bolt. You see this open space here? We're gonna put the bolt through there. And it's gonna be a little bit challenging for me to do on camera. I'm gonna do the best I can. But you're gonna put it through there, we're gonna thread it through there, and we're going to tighten it down. Okay, good. All right, so we got this thing tightened down. It took a little while, so just fast forward through that a little bit. Uh, we got the bolt down. Now we're gonna take this little piece here, and we're gonna just slide it in here. So I got it upside down. Boom, and we're good. So we got that, uh, our little bolt cover there. And what we're gonna do now, really, if you like this, I mean, I guess if someone has like extremely short arms, then you know this length of pull would be great. I guess for like a kid or something like that. Um, yeah, I can already feel how it really looks like a youth model shotgun now. It really feels like it with a shorter uh, stock here uh, compared to the original stock. But uh, if you are not a youth, if you're like an adult, then you're gonna have to add those spacers. So let's go ahead and add a few of those. All right, we're gonna move this screw here so we can slide this apparatus out here. Okay, and now we just add these as necessary. You wanna have these little teeth coming this way towards the gun. So let's just add one right now. Because my wife is going to be handling this, uh, I don't want to add too many spacers, and it being shorter is, is fine with me. Um, so if you are uh, long-armed or whatnot, <laughs> then you might want to add a few more spacers. So this is like, every space is a half inch, so this is an extra inch and a half that you could add, but we're just going to add half an inch, like I said, because my wife is going to be handling this shotgun in addition to me. So I'm just gonna add one extra spacer into, in addition to what already comes with this, kind of like a, you know, already a spacer there. And that's it guys, we are good to go. Well here it is guys, we got the complete Magpul SGA system on the Mossberg 590. We got one spacer added just because, I mean, I didn't want to get too crazy and in increasing the length of pull, but this is probably just right for me and uh, will be manageable for my wife. Oh yeah, that feels much better than the stock. The stock that came with it, and so this is the stock that came with it. So I got it the right side up. And so if it was connected right about there, you could see it extends just a little farther, you know what I'm saying, than I would like for it to. Uh, being able to customize this length of pull is a game changer. So when I solder the weapon, it is right there. I really like that. Right there. It feels much more natural. It feels almost like an AR or AK when you're soldering one of those. This is the Magpul SGA stock for the Mossberg 500 series. Highly recommend it. Link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Like, comment if you have anything, and please subscribe, hit that notification bell because we're going to be dropping some stuff real soon. God bless, stay safe, peace. Hey, in the sky, switching time zones, the clouds open up for me.